Hey y'all, Natalie here, and I'm working on my life crafted for our uh, vacation last summer. And I'm gonna do some square pocket pages and then an outside the page protector page. I want a really big statement um, title. The pictures are kind of boring. They're just the facades of some buildings in Hot Springs, Arkansas on Bathhouse Row. So I wanted a really big statement piece. Just This is just one of those pieces things that you flip you say okay this is what this is and move on there's not really any important journaling that needs to go with it but um i'm a big proponent for storytelling and journaling but sometimes in a travel scrapbook or album that's not necessary on every page and this is one of those pages but i have been hoarding this adorable travel collection page from pink fresh studio for a few years and i'm finally cutting into it as you can see i'm being very frugal with my cutting but i am just cutting the map paper to be the same size as um the ottp page um that i worked on the other day the back side of that so my plan is to use some of my favorite dies to die cut the title. And um, I love that this size of Traveler's Notebook can be thrown through your die cut machine. You could of course do this on your electronic die cut machine in any size paper, but um, you know, I can put the entire sheet of the Traveler's Notebook size paper into my Sizzix and it works. I have a Sizzix big shot. So I'm using my favorite um, Momenta skinny serif dies. I'm gonna make the words bathhouse row and it's gonna all kind of run together and it's basically three letters on each row and that's what it's gonna look like. Um, I'm just gonna trim this down because I'm going to cut them out of the pattern paper and then I'm gonna stick a piece of cardstock behind the pattern paper to um, make the letters pop. I at first thought that I was going to use this orange paper. I pulled the orange color. It's the color of my album, but it's also like a couple of the dots on that paper. And so I had trimmed it to give a little border around the pattern paper, but that does change. Um, I have this new like satin tape from Alta New. You can find that in the Cherry on Top store, but it's really fabulous for die cutting because it will not rip your paper. It's reusable. Um, so that's what I'm going to use to hold down my dies in the exact position that I need them. Um, since this is the front of the paper that I'm going to use. You could also die cut the letters in your colored cardstock and glue them down. This was just like a dimensional thing. I actually thought about putting a little bit of foam behind it, but I thought that was not gonna um, maybe hold up so great um, since it's an OTTP, but um, anyway. So this is how I'm doing it. You could do it either way. So I'm just gonna do the first part of the words first and then I'll, I'll run it through a couple times. So I'm gonna grab my plate, I'm gonna set it on top so that none of the letters shift and I'm going to flip it over, put my cover plate on and run it through. And it worked really well. I am gonna keep the inserts because I'm gonna glue those back down. But at this point, I'm, I'm not sure about that orange. I pull out my photos again. You'll see me looking at them right now. There's no orange in the photos. There's a lot of blue, which is the color of the back of the pattern paper. And then there's a, um, some pops of green. So I'm gonna actually change that orange paper to green. And I'm also gonna not include a border around it. I'm just gonna let it show the colors of the letters and um, let that be that. So now um, I do have to kind of offset the letters a little bit. So I put the middle letter down first to kind of give me idea of where I need to space out the other letters because I don't want anything running off the page. Um, but you can see there, I um, switched it up the orange for the green and I'm really glad I did that. I like the keeping it cool and um, I do trim down the green paper to fit behind the pattern paper. So I'm just gonna throw my alpha dies back onto this um, metal magnetic sheet. It's um, from Art Bin is how I store my dies. It's on different magnetic sheets in a plastic bin. And I'm gonna use my ATG to stick down this top pattern paper. I'm gonna fill in tape on all the little sections. I even go back in with later with glue because again, it's outside the page protector, OTTP as the scrap gals would say. And so I wanna make sure that it's adhered down very nicely. So again, I decided to not have the um, cardstock be a border around the pattern paper. And I'm just trimming off a little bit that was sticking off the edges. And I'm really happy with how that looks. I'm glad I went with no border and I'm glad that I went with green. And um, what are we doing here? Oh, I'm gluing down with my Nuvo adhesive, all the little bits that were not stuck down with the tape. 
this page came together really quickly. Um, I'm trying to work through our vacation album. So I'm glad sometimes I need that. Um, but I just love like throwing all the facades onto one single pocket page. You get a good glimpse of them. You get an idea of what we were seeing when we were on our trip and then flip that page is done. You don't have to look at five or six, four by six shots of these buildings that are kind of boring, right? So that's just another reason that I love these life crafted albums for um, like a week long trip that we take for a vacation. So now I'm gonna work in the pocket page. Um, it, they are two by two squares. So I grabbed the Horizons by Paige Evans little two by two pocket, uh, not pocket, uh, little pads of two by two square papers. I used these pretty recently on another layout. And I'm, so I wanna remember to use them and get them out. And they are travel themed. So um, there's a lot of blue in the photos. Some of the buildings had blue on them and then the sky was really be blue and beautiful. So I'm definitely just gonna pull out all the blues from these little paper pads. And there were a couple and they were so perfect. Like that one that has all the different tiles, that is so perfect because these are the bathhouses and hot springs. And so, I don't know, they're just really, it just is really reminiscent of the tiles and everything. And that's what the opposite side is gonna be is the inside of one of the bathhouses, you can tour it. And so um, I just really thought that was super perfect. And then I go through the other one and it had the same pattern but with words. And so that was so perfect. I was super, there it is. Uh, it was so perfect to use. So I'm just going to um, use those four cards. I think I'm using four cards. And then um, I'm gonna back all of my um, photos with white cardstock. Um, I know I trimmed off white around the borders, but they weren't exactly the right size. So I make white squares of cardstock and I just like to that's a finished look that I like to have within um, all of my pocket pages usually. I like to um, put white borders around the photos. So I'm gonna do all that. And then I'm gonna just do a little bit of embellishing on the a couple of the photos to bring in a few more of those pops of green that are over there um, on the bathhouse sheet. And really that's it. There's not gonna be like a ton of embellishing. So um, I just add in like three stickers, I think. Like I said, there's no journaling on this page as well. I'll probably journal um, in the next opening just to say a little bit about what we saw and um, kind of like how it was surprising to me. I don't know really what I expected, but driving through hot springs was um, not what I expected. It's not your typical uh, national park for sure, but it's definitely a cool place to visit. So I'm just gonna get, like, give a little strip there of holiday memories and put a couple of green and blue puffy alphas in some photos and I'm gonna stick them in. And I might still have to trim down a couple of the white borders that are a little big to fit in, but that's gonna be it. I'm gonna throw my affiliate links down below if you would like to go shopping. This is in a life crafted album. If anyone is interested, it is from Citrus Twist Kids. I do not have an affiliate link for them, but um, I love their albums for um, my travel albums are for a finite project. Um, I mean, people use them for all different things, but for me, they work really well for our travels or for our camping trips and things like that. Thank you guys for watching. I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe. Bye y'all.